Hi, my name is David Ridosi, and in this video I want to show how it's possible to create a dynamic marking menu for Maya 2016 or for any kind of modification like May 9. Um, now I want to go under my Maya and uh, from here I want to show you my whole marking menu. What is my whole marking menu? Press Z and the left mouse button and if you have installed the main 9 modification you can find this, uh, this menu. If you want, if you see uh, at east uh, I have a list of light. This is a, this is a um, kind of light I can create based on, based on the current rendering. But actually the current rendering is the uh, Maya software. But uh, as you probably know, in Maya it's possible to load up uh, a lot of other render engine like Arnold, Ray, um, uh, Red, uh, Redshift, uh, and so on and so forth. So if I press Z and go under the uh, west, uh, west area of Merkey menu, I can set Arnold. In this case, um, of course, uh, this is a custom build of May 9 when I have uh, Arnold uh, setup, but in the standard release of main end, there is no Arnold setup. But uh, this, uh, I, I do that for um, show how it's possible change, for example, the light type uh, loadable, lo loadable or uh, or creatable from Mercury menu based on the current rendering. Now, if you sh if you if I show you here, I have uh, the current render as Arnold rendering. So I want. Uh, uh, create a dynamic market menu that can query what um, what rendering engine is actually set up for change dynamically the structure of market menu itself. So how I can uh, use uh, a single configuration for multiple type of uh, of market menu. Uh, it's really simple. The first thing, the, the first thing you need to do is uh, to find a way to create a query on on Maya setup. So I have a script already made for May 9. If we go under Windows, setting preferences, uh, I call up my uh, hotkey editor, and from here I select up uh, custom script uh, and and find uh, under May 9 custom scripts. Uh, I found uh, the, uh, so, sorry, just a little bit, um, I found my switch color management, it's a little bit tricky, there is a lot of custom scripts, all right, switch color management, here I have created our simple script uh, turn uh, query by using this uh, command get that the default current render or I can take this uh, script uh, copy inside of my mail line render up and uh, sorry uh, ex 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 execute and uh, as you can see I have my actual render so in this case I have Arnold render so if I using Arnold render I want uh, a kind of information a kind of of uh, of uh, action and if I using a harder render uh, look like uh, my software or any kind of other render I want a standard configuration uh, to, to load up for example I want head to this menu dynamically uh, um, a change the ambient light by adding uh, some uh, Arnold light uh, now I need to open up my shelf and from here I want to load up Arnold shelf and why I need this one because here I have the uh, Python script I can use a right mouse button hit it and I need to tease this line for create for example a photometric light so if I take this and execute as in this case a Python as you can see I can create by this line of code uh, my light. But the problem is uh, this is a long command and uh, the Merkin menu cannot uh, uh, load up directly uh, some uh, Python code because uh, Merkin menu load up directly only, only mail code. So I need to create a new runtime command here, so I am so in my archi editor, runtime command new, 
copy this one, paste here, and from here I can simply give it a name, give at this command a name, and uh, give the right execution. So the languages I'm using for this script is Python. All right, and save runtime command. Runtime command saved is at the end of the list, and I want to save the global configuration to, to the disk. Remember, this if you don't click save and quick and, and Maya crash, uh, uh, your work is uh, you, you lose your work, right? You need to save on the disk by using this button what you have uh, defined here, all right? Um, now I can back up my script, my switch. Um, my switch color, switch color management. I need to ref refine. The, oh, sorry for that. Do, do, do. All right, and uh, I need uh, some elements. First of all, I want to define what's happening when load up when, when Arnold is load up. No, now I need to take this code, but before of that, uh, I need to go under my preferences. Documents Maya 2016 preferences. You can't uh, create. Uh, this is really important. You can create a dynamic marking menu by using the standard the standard UI windows and preferences marking menu. This editor is really limited about dynamic. And so remember, if you create some kind of um, uh, of dynamic marking menu and uh, modify that under the uh, marking menu. It is marking menu. It you lose uh, your custom code. This is really important. All right. Now we need to go here. Script uh, Maya 2016. Maya 2016. Scripts. Oh, sorry that. Uh, no. Uh, Maya 2016. Uh, prefs. Marking menu. Now I want to duplicate it. For have a backup. And after that, I need to locate a mint light. Oh, sorry. Oh, rough. Mm. Okay. When I'm when I yeah, when I arrive here, I want to take the code from T script. Before of that, uh, I want to find okay, that I have uh, the ambient light uh, in any case, uh, but not when I have Arnold as main rend uh, render uh, load up. So I need to take this part of code. Else. Before start, uh, the, this line define what happening in the marking menu. In this case, this is the direct command, uh, and this is the option box of that command, create ambient light option. So I need to go here and add uh, this else. Else, but a priere, uh, sorry, <laughs> I open up my, uh, my script and I close this here. All right. Else, in any case, that not have Arnold render, it load up T script. So it load up this part of the script. But if I have Arnold, so I can copy that. In this case, I'm not, I don't need else if. I need only if. So if and else. If get Arnold blah blah is if if you have get Arnold as a primary render, a current render. All right, you do something. This is inside of this uh, of this uh, code area, and now what I want to do is copy that and paste here. Of course, I need to modify and close the code. So if get Arnold render something happening has happening something different. Now I need to use this code. So this is a standards. Um, I like code and this code are what happening when I, Arnold is load up. So I need to copy this command I have created here. This is because under the under the American menu I can only only uh, define and only execute the um, the Python the sorry the the Mel code and copy here. So when Arnold is loaded, the, the, the command is create a photometric light instead of ambient light. We mean, of course, I need to 
copy the here the, the element so I, this is what the user interface show and this is the command that execute the uh, my user interfaces I need to add the icon so I can go uh, under my shelf edit oh sorry yeah I need to only edit yeah very good the shelves copy the icon and paste here all right now if get Arnold render so if Arnold render is the default render is the current render you load up uh, photometric light as label common photometric light and icon photometric light shelf but if not I'm using any any else uh, uh, render engine uh, mental ray, uh, ray and so on and so far you load up the standard ambient light so now I save my code and I want test on uh, immediately so now our render is loaded up press Z the LED mouse button I have photometric light if I change the, my render for example I come back to my software press Z that my button I have the ambient light. If I load up uh, mental ray, all right, mental ray set and loaded. Now I can have, uh, of course, another time my ambient light. That's a really trick. It's a little trick to improving uh, the way to so you can. Uh, um, you can conf configure and uh, create a dynamic, uh, dynamic American menu. The only problem about create dynamic American menu is uh, when you create this kind of American menu, and uh, you try to uh, you try to change the structure of American menu by uh, its standard uh, editor, you lose uh, all the um, all the sorry, all the, um, the 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 custom code you have had, all all the mail code you have had, and this is really important. After you have created a marking menu dynamically, you, the dynamic marking menu, you can't uh, modify from the standard the standard interfaces. All right. Um, why why I have um, I, why I can have is um, a dynamic way so uh, you have to see if I change the uh, the render engine in real time I have an update of this marking menu this is because the system behind Z and left mouse button in main 9 is called uh, um, it's called uh, uh, mm 2 key mm 2 key let you uh, reload the resource every time the marking menu so if you uh, open up the script editor equal command when you using mark mm to key uh, for example under main 9 press z and press the left mouse, left mouse button as you can see here it load up every time resourcing the mark menu so in this case every time you let z and repress z let z and repress z it every time give you the last version so if you have a query that can read this the maya status everything change inside of the inside of the mark menu very 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 good all right good. um hope you find everything useful and uh, of course i invite you to download may 9 you can find the link the link to download below from free on creative crash site bye